it's RJ Ryan Kilio, and I'm here with Premier Guitar for their Hooked series, where we talk about the licks and the riffs that got us hooked on playing guitar. And I want to talk about the very first guitar melody or riff that I ever learned, which was the Ventures version of Johnny Smith's classic Walk Don't Run. So I started playing guitar around nine years old, about the mid 80s, and you would think that you know, at that time, I would be into guitar heroes like Eddie Van Halen or Stevie Ray Vaughan or even Clapton. But those guys didn't really come into my radar until a little bit later. So when I first started playing guitar, the only music that I was into or that I knew of was kind of the generic pop that was on the radio and MTV. Marty McFly, Michael J. Fox, and Back to the Future, that's always the big one for me. And basically, whatever records that my parents had in the house. And one of the records that I remember was my dad's copy of the Ventures uh, Golden Greats album that had like a, a, a blonde bikini girl in like a gold bikini on the cover. And honestly, I think I was probably attracted to the cover as much as I was the music. But like I said, I really didn't know much about guitar-centric music back then in the 80s. I wasn't quite at the point yet to where I could get into Eddie Van Halen or like Yngwie Malmsteen. I was still kind of young and green. So my earliest concept of guitar-driven music was the Ventures and their instrumental guitar records. Now, I know a lot of people are quick to throw them into the surf music category, but really they were this instrumental garage band from Pacific Northwest, you know, Seattle. And they came out at a time which kind of predated surf music and the whole Southern California scene. And of course they were a thousand miles away from Southern California. So here I am as a kid in the 80s, listening to this late 50s, early 60s, instrumental guitar music. And my dad was actually the one that said, you should learn Walk Don't Run, you know, it's their biggest hit. Everyone's familiar with this song. And my dad was actually the one that showed me the chords. I think he actually taught me open chords at first. And actually these chords are wrong. It's not A, it doesn't start on A minor. Although the melody itself is a an A minor tonality, when the Ventures play it, they actually play a major chord, an A major bar chord. So if you listen closely, it's actually A major. And then from there, I learned the actual melody on my own by ear. So kind of just hunted around for all the notes. Probably played it wrong the first time. Eventually, as I got older, I learned the right uh, melody. But thankfully, I had gone through the uh, the Mel Bay Blue Book, that volume one that maybe some people in my age group or older have gone through. But yeah, to be that young and that early in my education, I was proud to have learned something on my own. You know, it was the first song I ever learned just by ear, it gave me more motivation to keep on learning guitar and, and learning how to transcribe things by ear. Because also at the time, you know, as a beginning guitar player, I wasn't learning necessarily the coolest stuff in my guitar lessons, probably like Mary Had a Little Lamb or Hot Cross Buns or something silly like that. So the fact that I learned something at the time that I thought was cool uh, was really inspiring. And since then, the song has actually made some other appearances in my life. I actually played the original Johnny Smith jazz version in my senior recital when I was studying jazz guitar at the University of Miami. At one point, I got to play a gig with a Ventures tribute band called Ventures Mania with my good friend Deke Dickerson over in Spain at a uh, garage rock festival. And then I also covered the song live with my old band RJ and the Del Guapos. <laughs> So that's it. That's the song that kind of got me hooked on guitar. If you haven't ever listened to The Ventures, I highly suggest you go onto YouTube or Spotify or whatever, wherever you listen to music 
check out some of their stuff. I, I can honestly say I probably wouldn't be a guitar player if, if it weren't for my dad and the Ventures. Thanks again to Premier Guitar for having me, and I'll see you guys later.